I know uh, you guys have seen IBD, IBD, IBD. All right, they usually write it like well, IBD in several places, and you're kind of like, what is this IBD? So IBD simply means what inflammatory bowel disease. And inflammatory bowel disease is not really a disease on its own, but it's actually a general term for sub types of diseases that will basically what cause an inflammation in your intestines okay your intestines down to your rectum down to the arms all right so we'll be looking at the concept and consider what inflammatory bowel disease is what practically what you talking about Crohn's disease or talking about what colitis all right colitis being the inflammation of what just the large intestine but Crohn's disease can be an inflammation of either the large intestine or the small intestine, all right? So we get to talk about it, and even apart from these two types, two common types, we have some other types too, all right? We'll talk about it under several headings, and you get to understand the concept of what IBD, all right? So IBD, as inflammatory bowel disease, is a chronic inflammatory disorder. When they say something is chronic, for a disease to become inflammatory bowel disease, to affect a lot of the colon or the bowel, uh, you are saying that the disease must have been there for a very long time. Okay, so it is a disorder affecting the gastrointestinal tract and primarily what it affects the colon and the small intestine. All right, so what are the types of this inflammatory bowel disease? It could be what ulcerative colitis, like we have seen here. All right which is inflammation of the large intestine that has been there for a very long time, leading to formation of ulcers. That's why they say ulcerative colitis. It could be Crohn's disease. It could be what? Indeterminate colitis. It could be microscopic colitis. All right? What are the causes? What could make someone actually have this type of conditions? All right? It could be due to a genetic predisposition. That means what? Have some genetic links. It could be due to some abnormal immune responses. It could be due to environmental factors. It could be due to an imbalance of the gut microbiome because you actually know that um, there are some normal flora. That's like some microorganisms that actually what exist primarily in the gut. Okay, so basically, um, if there's an imbalance because there's supposed to be a balance between the two. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, there's supposed to be a balance relating to the population of these microorganisms. If they get too much, the population and activity, right? If they get too much, then basically you have an inflammation coming, right? Because of disease condition. So symptoms. A patient that has a problem in the bowel who complain about diarrhea, who say that they are passing out watery stool, they'll complain about rectal bleeding. All right, so there'll be blood in stool. All right, they'll complain about abdominal pain. They'll complain about weight loss. They'll complain about fatigue. They'll complain about nausea and vomiting. All right, so this is what the most common types of inflammatory bowel disease, right? So diagnosis, um, diagnosis is what you can do colonoscopy, all right? We are passing a scope through the colon just to check out for things. You could do biopsy, you could do endoscopy, you could do imaging tests like CT scan, MRI. You could do some stool tests, all right? Then for medical therapy, you could use drugs like what? Amino salicyclates, corticosteroids, immune modulators, biologics, right? Lifestyle modification. The patient might have to change their diet to so probably a diet that will make their stool very soft. Right, examples of this diet that can make your stool very salty. So, you should be taking a lot of roughages. All right, then stress management, smoking cessation, regular exercise. Right, surgeries could include what colectomy, proctocolectomy, small bowel resection. Right, complications this could lead to colon cancer, rectal stricture, perforation, toxic megacolon, extra intestinal manifestation. Like manifestations outside the intestine, right? Like skin lesions and arthritis, okay? So that's it for inflammatory bowel disease, popularly known as what? IBD.